Welcome to part three of this Resident Evil Inferno playthrough. <sighs> this is going to be a fun one, I guess. Um, so what I did was I spared you all watching, you know, me fumble back through this area just to die. All right. Um... Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and continue on. I'm going to try not to get eated. Um, so this time what I did is I actually brought the assault coins along with me to, um, you know, help increase that damage. Oh, what was that? So I always skip past this, but right there is a document if you haven't already got them. I'm assuming that if you're playing on Inferno, you've already at least... Uh, you know, got that achievement where you were getting all those, uh, those documents and whatnot, so. What the fuck was that? Uh, just a good measure, yeah. But, anywho. Got to make sure that they're dead, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So... More documents there. Some more documents there. Um, ooh, I didn't even notice that was there. You get your stuff on it. Same with you. Alright. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm not getting that minimalist uh, achievement or trophy. Because <laughs> I go in there way too often. Alright, let's see what we got though. <clears throat> I do like the lighting. It looks pretty legit. I mean, I use flashlights all the time at work, so... I mean, I see something similar to this, it's not identical, you know? Remember, folks, that's the one that killed me right there. He was in here. Oh, cool, I got him. I can't remember if there's a zombie laying in wait for me or whatnot here, so... I don't know if he was alive. Uh, there's another document right here, though. Ew. Ooh. All right. Uh, flame rounds, but I'm really not going to be using that grenade launcher at all. Well, I use it for the mine rounds. Um, and I think you need them sometimes, but not really when you have, you know, the infinite rocket launcher. I do pick up the high-grade gunpowder because I love using the Magnum. Um, it's actually one of my favorite weapons, and I love to upgrade it and then use it. But, I mean, you don't really get the upgrade until the end of the game. Or the upgraded damage is more documents. Um, so it's kind of like... Uh, I, I haven't gotten the reward yet for um, you, like, killing a certain amount of, of enemies with the, the Magnum, because I mainly use it on the bosses. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust it out here in a minute and use it on the lesser, on the weaker zombies and stuff. I think I have like 14 left uh, to defeat so that I... Until I get the, um, it's not an achievement, it's like a reward in the stow. I think they call them accomplishments or something like that. I, I don't even have Jill's Samurai Edge, which is kind of a disgrace, I think. I don't have her OG Samurai Edge, the, the one that's balanced perfectly for her. <laughs> or the one that she designed or whatever, however the story goes with it. So. 
I know that one pops out here. Oh. As you know, I would have had to use, uh, any, those of you that do have the uh, rocket launcher, I would have had to have gone through this game quite a bit in order to get enough points to uh, get this bad boy. So that's why I know where most of the enemies are. Uh, the only one that was different was the one that was hidden back in that um, little passageway uh, that I got eaten on last video. Um, because I had no clue he was there. <laughs> I don't know why I picked that up. I don't need it. Um, oops. I really don't have too many rewards left to, to get therefore I don't have too many uh, trophies to uh, to get either like I have like minimalist the complete on inferno and the uh, s rank on inferno trophy to get and then I get the platinum so probably one of the harder like dolls for me to find um, was the one that's up here. You have to turn around, he's there, and then you can shoot him. I think he's there or there, but if you turn around on these stairs, he's in one of those two spots. I couldn't find him for uh, the longest time. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill, oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great, the subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Oh, snaps. <clears throat> Whoa. You me. <laughs> it looked like she threw the hacker, that rocket launcher down. <laughs> So the thing that always got me about this game was at the beginning of the game, you saw him tearing through like brick walls and whatnot and, and drywall and all that, but he didn't just come like busting through that. Like I could bust through that. Uh, and by me saying that, just, I'm not saying like I'm discrediting like how strong I am or aren't. I'm just saying that uh, an ordinary person like myself can accomplish, can achieve that. Um, I'm not saying that I'm a strong dude or even on par with Nemesis as far as strength goes. All right, just to calm down. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to pull out this one. Take it out. Um, and I think I'm gonna need some of this. And I need exactly 14 kills, so... I have exactly 14 shots. That being said, hopefully I don't miss. Uh, I can't remember if that person is still alive, but I'm gonna make sure that they don't get back up. If that's so, he finally did break it. Okay. that's what happened so he finally like walked over to it and the time it took me to do all that bull crap but I know it's a timing thing for the game to you know uh, would it for keeping the pace with the game but it's just uh, something a little goofy that I, I noticed like he must have been conversing with the other zombies before kicking that door and allowing Jill to have that time to do all that stuff Now, right here, the gloves came off, and he's ready to, to kill Jill now, so get them stars going. Kia! You know, I've always been, like, keeping pace with the game, like, having that, like, 
like, oh crap moment. I wonder what it would happen if I didn't hurry up, run, and go over here. Would the ground really collapse on me? I mean, I'm not trying to find out right now, but... Oh, so I'm just hoping that I don't die again. Um, I mean, I'm not going to get that S rank at all. So I might as well just save it. <laughs> all right. Time to do some battle with you. I was lucky. I barely even saw him by like, getting down in that charge position. Woo -wee. <clears throat> but that book definitely does make it way easier to get those perfect dodges, so you know, throwing that out there. Come on, Jill, you got it. Girl power. Alright, so her hitting her head like that, I get it. Um, Cause I do skateboard and I do longboard every now and again. Uh, now when I was doing, I was taking this hill, right? Um, on my longboard and I don't wear a helmet, uh, which is stupid of me. Carlos, so do you read me? I ended up kicking my board out from underneath me, hitting a turn yeah. going maybe 25 That's miles an hour. Like it was pretty fast. Um, and when my board kicked out from underneath me, I tried to catch myself. I did what I had to. So I kind of did this weird like duck squat running thing. And I was trying to like be as calm as possible and think as quick as I could. So when I was, uh, you know, in the middle of like, okay, how am I gonna catch myself in that split second? Um, I was, Thinking to myself, all right, just try and turn and get your um, your shoulder down, like you know, tuck, like because I, I also uh, have done jujitsu in the past. I was like, all right, just do like a jujitsu roll type thing, you know. So I went to do the the roll, and <laughs> I was, uh, you know, like I said, in that squat position. So my my body weight was already shifting, and my knee hit the ground. And instead of doing the full on roll, I just kind of slammed the side of my head and it hurt like a lot, lot. Like it hurt so much and my body cramped up like everywhere because I was trying so frantically to to catch myself or, you know, to, to figure out what it was I was trying to do. So my muscles were all pulling in different directions trying to, you know, catch myself. And uh, so after I hit, um, I was just going to lay there and recuperate, <laughs> but a friend of mine that was with me was coming down shortly behind, uh, sh shortly after me. So I had to get up, um, in my like broken state, if you will. Like I was, like I said, I was just cramped everywhere. My, my groin area was so like, so cramped up. It just, it hurt. Everything hurt. Uh, my head hurt. Um, so I had to get up and like limp to safety and then i saw my homie come down and so i i threw my board down next to me and i laid down in a different part of the of the, the pavement um and it was like last summer it was happened like a year ago so i mean it's pretty hot but i was like i didn't even care i just wanted to like lay down for a bit uh, to recuperate and my homeboy was like asking me what was going on so i let him know and he was like man 
He goes, you're a real friend because instead of you laying there, you know, to recuperate, you thought about me uh, and me not falling down. I was like, I, yes, that was one thing that crossed my mind is I didn't want him to fall down. But I also didn't want to get hit by his board <laughs> Oh, he was on his way down. So that's that's my story on how I relate to Jill bat, like bumping her head on some pavement. I know it really doesn't have much to do with anything, but uh figured I'd share that little story there. Anywho, Resident Evo. So hope that my gameplay is oh I already got it, fool. I forgot that I'm supposed to be peeling caps on folks with this thing. And in the words of Kevin Hart, I gotta peel muffin caps back, Blue. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Honestly, hey, if any of you guys, if you guys skate and have uh, similar like skate stories of you busting yourselves up, you know, just let me know in the comments. I like skating. I I own Tony Hawk Pro Skater, you know, uh, the remake one and two. I sometimes I'll get out on my board. I, I ride on um, a creature board. I have uh, Spitfire wheels, uh, independent trucks, and I use bones uh, for bearings. Uh, I mean, I, I thought about doing some skate videos, but uh, I'm really not that good. I haven't skated in freaking, I don't know, a long time. So I'm kind of new uh, to skating again. So my ollies suck. Um, I can't kick flip at all. I, actually, I was never really able to do a decent kick flip, uh, even when I was like really into it. Um, however, I was really good at doing like um oh shit um like pop shove it you know so there's only some tricks i couldn't do uh, kick flip being one of them <laughs> i could do them sometimes like i couldn't do them well so i don't want to say that i couldn't do them at all um but i mean my current state um oh shit That's right. Sorry. So anyways, yeah, long story short, I'm not that good at skating anymore. I'm thought about doing like a progression type video. Like this is my journey of getting back on that board and skating again, you know, as a grown ass man. Uh, I don't know. I still might do it. I'm not 100% sure though. No, it's some hefty freaking bags that are protecting him. That's why he's able to withstand so much. Oh no. I don't know, dude. Like, I, I think that that would have killed her. Like, you know, I've had friends who fought over in Iraq, Afghanistan and all that. Uh, they've had homeboys where something similar like that happened to them, and they're missing parts now. <laughs> uh, it sucks. Like, I, I don't mean to laugh at, you know, the missing parts, but, I mean, it's just funny to me how, you, like, yes, we're playing a video game, and in movies, it's the same thing, like, because uh, it kind of gives people the false pretense that that could happen, you know? Lead 
Okay, so this little rolling head thing, um, for whatever reason, it tends to crush me. I don't know why. <laughs> it it does uh, at least once the first time, so I may be starting over again. Told you, <laughs> son of a bitch. Uh, I got I got stuck on the the planner there. I didn't turn fast enough, but. It's whatever. Won't let it happen again. It won't get me twice. Promise. Okay, let's try not to die again. Get smashed. Again. Um, honestly, it, like that, this thing or whatever, it doesn't really help me that off, like that much. Uh, I don't know why. My fucking brain's all weird like that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it didn't help me at all. What the hell? I guess I'm just destined to be smashed. Smash smashed. Son of a gun. Infuriating is what that is. Alright, hopefully this is the last time. I'm tired of having to do this thing over and over again. Just like everyone else, I like to see forward progress, not backward progress. Oh, awesome. I had to fucking do that. Damn it. All right, this is the last time. If I don't uh, get it this time, then I'm going to go break some stuff and then maybe try again later. Let's see. I know it's, it's frustrating for you guys to see. To see me struggle on something so stupid. All right, looks like I got it. Yeah. Woo! Go me, freaking idiot. Shit. Stores. Oh, cool. That's probably like flame rounds or something. Go, this way. Let's do it, Jill. Woo -wee. All right. <laughs> Made it out of that. Shoo. Cool. Now I don't have to go break anything. <laughs> you okay? I'm not okay. Go. Come on, forget about it. Oh wait, I just noticed that Nemesis's arms are showing, so he's showing off his guns. He's like, the sun ain't out, then the guns is out. What it is for him because he's outside at night not during the day not saying he's nocturnal but you know i know we didn't get off to a great start thanks for the save hey you saved my ass first you're a hell of a lot braver than me uh -uh. you're the brave one boo what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now yeah now you'll be safe yeah Whoa. excuse me Sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, oh, there'll be new orders. New orders, like, like save the city. burgers and fries. It's fine by me. Right. I do like the advertisements, so they're very much 90s. Some of them have an 80s feel to them. Good work. Your it's pretty reputation dope. is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bard. This isn't the last bite out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. So I wonder, though, if 
like they're further furthering a stereotype that Russian people are bad by having Nikolai be a traitor. I don't know. That's just maybe maybe it's just me because I'm an American. I live in America, you know, so I'm wondering if that's the that's just my <laughs> programming of growing up in America, like to distrust the Russians because we were at war with them for so long. You know, this si was it quiet silent war or whatever? Cold War, that's what it was. I'm getting some other things. Silent, uh, was it Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars? If you've ever read uh, Behold a Pale Horse, uh, if you're into some. Uh, I guess alternative learning, I don't want to say conspiracy theories because many of those theories have been proven to be fact. So I don't want to like discredit it by calling it, you know, um, cons a conspiracy, even though that's what it is. Um, uh, but the reason why I don't like conspiracy is because it's kind of a loaded word. You know, like, if you, just the word itself, already you're going to discredit whatever it is that is about to come after the word conspiracy. That's why I don't like using it. That's why I don't like using the term woke either, because, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a joke now. It doesn't really mean anything to me. It, like, it makes me laugh when someone says that they're woke, you know, even though I do understand what they're saying. Um, still, it's, it's a joke to me. Like, I'm just like... I can't take you guys serious. Shit, bird. All right. Speaking of woke, someone just got knocked out. You ain't woke no more. All right. Now I'm going off on weird tangents. That's just. The nature of this, of this show here is we talk about anything and everything, as well as the important thing, the video games. So as I was saying in the first video, I do like how responsive the controls are for this game. Um, just sometimes they can get kind of sluggish, uh, even though the very first game, if you ever played the first Resident Evil on PlayStation oh, 1, Subway's got to be clear of the city. Uh, that game, game controls game. like butt. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, but it's it's playable. I mean, I, I've beaten it before several times. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite games. And I have the GameCube edition. And I also have the remastered uh, that they released for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Um, however, I have that one on Xbox One because at the time... Uh, that's all I had was the Xbox One. So, um, like I was saying before about the description of um, what we do here, as far as how, when we play right, games, stop. we See. do um, all different platforms. I have the Xbox One. I have the PS4. I have a Nintendo Switch. I do play on my PC, you know, so I, I have that. So. Um, I do plan on doing a, a, a game next on the Nintendo Switch, so be on the lookout for that. Um, it's going to be an older game, you know, because, I don't know, there's really not too many newer um, Nintendo Switch games that, are, that I'm really, like, interested in. Uh, I'm sure you've seen, if you, like, a ton of... Uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, game gameplay out there, um, so I'm gonna do something a little different. I don't know. So maybe for RPG Monday, I'll do Astral Chain or something like that. Uh, maybe or the Zelda, one of the Zelda games. We'll see. The only reason why I suggested Astral Chain is because I haven't started it yet, so. That'll be fun. I've been wanting to play that one. I have so many different games here that I own that I haven't even started yet. I, 
I have the what I what I'll do with some games like if I have the actual disc is I'll open the game, um, put it in my system and like copy over everything that needs to be copied over, and then put it up on the shelf and, and wait <laughs> wait for a second um, before I play it. And it's I know I'm a, I'm a weirdo when it comes to that, but it's uh, there's a reason for everything. I just don't really have a good reason. It's just I, I just do things weird like that, I guess. Anyway, let's get all these, get that, and then we'll put this out there. Yeah. Down here. Gotta organize my inventory. Like that. There we let's go. Let's find him and take him into custody. Woo! Custody? I thought this was a rescue. But you thought ain't no rescuing Carlos, up in here. You take a look at I've this. Located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Yes, hmm. exactly. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. So this guy, um, hey, be careful. This yeah. guy, this guy right here. You too, man. He looks like uh, I can't remember his name. He just said his name. I'm terrible with names, but anyway, um, I think he looks like the guy from John Wick, the concierge dude. If you guys have seen John Wick, you know what I'm talking about. But dude's been in a ton of different movies. But that's who he reminds me of. And it's not because I think that all black people look the same. <laughs> all right, so get that out of your heads. It's, it's uh, uh he really does kind of look like him. All right. What the hell was that thing? It's just a monster making out with folks, giving them a little bit of tongue action. Couldn't have been a zombie. Whoa. So interesting fact about this thing right here, right, is in the original Resident Evil Two. Um. You could see somebody hanging at the just the right angle, like when you come around this corner, because in the original game, like Resident Evil 2, the everything was fixed. So in the original Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, they had fixed camera angles. So it was third person, just a lot like Silent Hill, so if you've never played them. And there was a random person or a zombie or something just kind of hanging here, and nobody knew why. Uh, the developers didn't put them there on purpose, so they were thinking that maybe it was just like a like a preloaded zombie that was gonna be there, but they decided not to put him there, and he they just didn't remove him. So instead of him spawning there, he just kind of hung there. So I think that's why they put that bad boy in there for this particular game. Didn't stick around. Nope. Uh, we go. Ooh, so scary! Ooh. Ow. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know, I might pick up Resident Evil 2 again. And maybe do some gameplay of that. Uh, we'll see though, I don't know. Kind of an Copy. older game. There's I know. Something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I don't know if anybody's okay. really interested in watching Watch Resident Evil 2 gameplay. Um, however, it's I guess it's whatever I decide to put out. I did not mean for that to happen. That's where I wanted it. Okay. Uh, what was the code for this one? 
I think it's nine fifteen seven or something like that. Let's see. And fifteen and seven. Hey, look at that. I remembered it. Sorry. Sorry folks, if you're hearing weird noises. I forgot to turn my phone down. Anywho, sorry. Let's get going. I kind of fucked up shooting cops. Yeah, it is. It is kind of screwed up. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. I don't really wish death on folks, but. Oh, there shouldn't be a butt. I'm just saying I don't deal with death on folks normally. Usually that's not my, my thing. It's wishing death on folks. Uh, if anybody's interested, this one is ECM, I think. No. ECM. There it is. Yay! I don't need any of that. Hooray, hooray. So I like I remember the first time being introduced to the liquors and in Resident Evil 2 and how hard it was to kill them because the aiming system was so weird in it that like, it made it pretty difficult to you know to hit your targets. You just kind of you know took aim and Hope for the best. It gets four. Yep, that's the one I need. That's the only one I need. That's why I only open up that one. I don't need that, and I definitely don't need a grenade. So. But if you played the Resident Evil 2 remake, um, a lot of this right here will look familiar to you. Basically. Basically identical. Come on, Brad. Come get you some, Brad. Um, I don't think there's anything in here that I need, but I mean, I'll go in here just to show you guys. It, it, there's a room, and there's stuff in here. Oh yeah, there's documents in here if you need it. Uh, for those of you that play this game, those of you badasses out there that play this game without infinite anything, there's ammo and whatnot in here. Uh, well, if cameras killed those things, I'd be set. Uh, basically, a safe room. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else? What else? What else? Do oh, dude, I think. Uh, I'm really hoping for like a Code Veronica remake. That game was like, I don't know, dude. A game was like completely different, you know, being um, that you were Claire. And just the overall feel of that game was kind of just weird to me, you know? Like, it genuinely did creep me out because of the. The huge, um, what was it? There was like a massive, like, creep factor of incest in there because of, um, the relationship between like Alford and Alexa or whatever her name was. Alexis? I don't know. The two Ashford twins, you know. He was like a cross-dresser pretending to be his sister, and I don't know, he just had like this creepy feel that that he was, that he wanted to bone his sister, you know? And I don't know if that was just me being a creep or what, but uh, I, I pretty much got that feeling from that game. 
Shit. Oh, wow. That was lucky. All right, Carlos. We getting it. Dr. Bard. Dr. Oh, Bard. Dear God, do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're going to get you out of there. Just tell Maybe me two minutes? Are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just that you are. probably created, you no, jerk. No, RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out. Ho, ho, ho. has gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send... Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Hmm. Just I like him already. Chill with your dick in your hand, bro. Yeah, you would. You'll be all right. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Hmm. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. I don't think there is anything useful, really. Flashbangs. I know that in here there's assault rifle ammo. There's... I don't know if this picture here counts as one of the documents you can pick up, but I normally take a look at it. There's a document there. Um, that is that Jill in the front row? It's a picture of stars. The mofos that Nemesis is after. That. Yeah, really nothing else other than that. Not that I remember, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Joe, what happened? So when I first got into Joe, the, the Star's office, because I played Resident Evil 2 Remake, to remake uh, just before I played this one, the I was just like completely confused because I was expecting to, you know, find all the same items and whatnot in, in the room. But I mean the this game and Resident Evil 2 are like they happen. Uh, about like simultaneously, you know, like I think Resident Evil 2 is takes place like maybe a little bit before this one, but they're practically like happening at the same time. Which is pretty neat. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, stay tuned uh, for the next part. I believe that'll be part four. All right. Um, you know, I'm having fun. If you're having fun, come on back. Like, subscribe, you know, get hit that notification uh, so that you'll know when, uh, when the next video is coming out. I can tell you right now it's going to come out mm, Tuesday. It's going to come. Yeah, so uh, I really saw all my action games on Tuesday um, so you know be looking forward to that all right see you guys on the next one